So yeah. I, when I found out that there's a ham, I was like, no, it's kimbap. <laughs> Assalamualaikum. Hello guys. So today I finally invite Bangladesh guy. So many people ask me. You're the first Bangladesh guest on oh my, my channel. I'm so honored. <laughs> <laughs> I will talk about how is being in Bangladesh in Korea and why do you come to here and couple the questions. So can you introduce yourself? Okay. Hey guys, my name is Zafar and I'm from Bangladesh. I've been living in Korea for the past 17 years. I came to Korea when I was only three years old. Wow. So basically Korea or Seoul is basically my second home. You came to Korea since three years old? Yeah. So how did your family come to Korea? Um, well, it started with my father. Oh. Yeah, my father, he got a job at uh, Qatar Embassy as a worker. Mm -hmm and he moved to Korea first and he's been living, he was living in Korea for about one to two years and then we moved with my mom and me, we moved to Korea. Mm -hmm. Korea was a lot more uh, better education, better living environment and just overall it was very safe so my father and my mom we thought that it better for me to or just the whole family to live in Korea. So oh, your father is so brave that you just come here alone and make safe money and for your family. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm really thankful for that. Wow. <laughs> Mom and dad. Many Koreans don't know about Bangladesh well. So, mm -hmm. can you introduce about Bangladesh? Oh, sure. Yeah. So, Bangladesh is a uh, South Asian country. It is located at its bordering India and uh -huh. Burma, yeah. or also known as Myanmar. Population is about 160 to 170 yeah. million. Yeah, so it's, there's a lot of people. Cause Korea only wow. has about 50 million, I believe. Yeah, yeah, right. Maybe yeah. Three, three times? So almost three, three times wow. the population. Uh, it's actually like the eighth most popula uh, populated in the world. country in the world. Wow. And wow. it has a lot of water. Water? Yeah. What? Water, like rivers. Oh. Yeah. There's a, uh, one of the staple food in Bangladesh is fish. Fish. And that's also because there's an abundance of water. So a lot of people go fishing, yeah. Oh. The capital city is Dhaka. It's the biggest city in Bangladesh. And I actually live just an hour away from Dhaka. It's called Shonaga. Oh, Shonaga. The old capital of Bangladesh. I heard they like cricket. Yeah, they do. Really? <laughs> cricket Cricket is the best sports in Bangladesh. Everybody oh. knows cricket. Have you ever tried? Yeah, of course. Oh, really? As a Bangladeshi, oh. it's, it's a must to play cricket. Wow. I, I'm very bad at cricket. Maybe some I should I should try. You should try. You should definitely try playing cricket. <laughs> it's fun. Okay. Oh, I'm curious, Dad. How is being in Bangladesh in Korea? Yeah, uh, your experience in Korea. How's it? Well, my experience as a Bangladeshi in Korea would be Bangladesh community. It's pretty big. Because of that, I feel like I have experienced a lot of Bangladeshi cultures oh. in Korea. Mm -hmm. Because of the community we have, we would advance like Pohela Boishak Bengali New Year event. Oh. It's a huge, huge. event wow. in Bangladesh. You would see colorful dresses, oh. Punjabi women would be wearing a lot of colors oh. like red, orange, like vibrant colors, festivals, all the streets. Yeah. Please invite me next year. <laughs> I'll definitely invite you next year. Okay. Yeah. I'm still thankful that I got to experience it. <laughs> Yeah. Um, isn't there a bad experience when you're young? Oh yeah, I did. I did experience some racism, some uh, chabyal when I was in kindergarten or uh, say uh, orinjip. <laughs> orinjip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I would left out a lot mm. from the Koreans, yeah. but that was when I was little. Uh, whenever they would play maybe like sunbakukje or like uh, hide and seek yeah, or right, tag, right, right. I did um, a lot I, too. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to be playing with them, with the uh, Koreans, because they would say like, oh, you can't play with us. Eat this, this yeah, yeah, yeah. They would, they would be like, oh, yogi, yogi, more like, yeah, like, yeah, and then Literally. people would yeah, like, right. do that. But whenever I put my thumb in there, yeah. they'd be like, no, 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 uh, no. Kids are mean. <laughs> kids have no filtering. Just yeah, say they, whatever they, they want to say. They just say whatever, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they don't think about it. How about now, it's okay? But now it's a lot better than before. I, I definitely say it's a lot better because I realize that other people around me also mature. They can respect me for who I am. I'm thankful for that. How is being Muslim in Korea? Are there any hard thing or uncomfortable thing in Korea? Really the hardest thing about being Muslim in Korea mm -hmm. would be the food. Ah, the food. The pork and... Yeah, because yeah. Korea, uh, if I'm not mistaken, pork is the cheapest right. source of yes. meat. Yes. So whenever Obviously. you go to a restaurant, yeah. pork is really yeah, everywhere. Soup, meat, everywhere. So yeah. it's really difficult right. as a Muslim to find a yeah, place right, that doesn't right, have a pork. Right. When I was a kid growing up, I used to love kimbap. Mm. Kimbap was my favorite food, and then but there's also there's ham. a ham. Oh, so ham. I, when I found out that there's a ham, I was like, no, it's kimbap. 
<laughs> yeah, but, but now, wow. whenever I order a kimbap, I always tell the ajumma, mm. like, oh, hempe uh, juseyo, yeah, like, yeah, take out the ham. Tempe. It also depends on where you live, because uh, where I live in Itaewon, yeah, it's, it's it, better. It's yeah. better because it's many halal, halal restaurants foods everywhere, and there's Muslim halal community. Market. Halal markets. Halal there. markets, they sell halal food. I think that's nice. One nice thing about living um, in that area. You know that even in snacks or gum or candy, yeah. there is a gelatin to yeah, pour like, skin. Especially, wow. especially gummy bears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gummy bear. Oh man, I used to eat that. <laughs> but there is, there yeah, is there's gelatin. Wow. So after that, I'm like, oh no, there's a, there's a <laughs> gelatin. <laughs> oh, one more question. So you work as a volunteer in mosque in Ramadan, right? Mm, yeah, I volunteer sometimes whenever I have. Uh, time yeah. Yeah. So I go to mosque and volunteer with the iftar oh, that's amazing yeah. what did you do in there mm -hmm. I'm not like the official volunteer uh, but I just help try them. to help yeah mm -hmm. try to help Explain. those volunteering I give out the I set up the tables uh, sometimes I help them set up with wow. water with bananas yeah, yeah, yeah. well just whatever they need help, just yeah, try to cool. help I went there yesterday it was so amazing so many people yeah wow there's and a lot of people Wow. And especially on the weekends, you see a lot of yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. And the funny thing about the mosque, funny thing about the iftar after the prayer, oh. a lot of people will try to run. Yes, for the yes, food. I saw that. It was really a funny. Lot of people, when I was young, like middle school, high school, yeah. when we eat the lunch, we always lunch. People run. Yeah, hungry. I saw the same thing. They're really hungry. It's their chokki, you know, it's like the mm. first meal of the day. So they yeah. all go crazy about it. Yeah, right. but I, I understand. <laughs> it's, it's a nice. So I invite Bangladesh yeah. guy today. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay, so thank you for watching my video and yeah. bye. Take care, be safe. Yeah. Ma salama. Ma salama. <laughs>